I was very fortunate to, to go there. I was very proud that my parents were able to send me there. Great teachers, great classmates, good sports memories, good academic memories. Uh, Mr. Domel was tough back then, and I'm sure he's still tough now. Colonel Neroni and the drills, Brother Al, um, the time that uh, Pat Politi and I wrecked Greg Barrup's car before a football game. All the things that uh, made me who I was at CBA are memories that stay with me forever. Robert J. Amore, class of 82, at the old school where the heat was either on 90 degrees or it was 50. There was no in between. <laughs> I really remember uh, right from day one, it was like no nonsense, you know, you see other kids from other schools, you know, goofing around. You had the uniform on, you, you felt that and you wanted to carry yourself correctly. And I appreciated that, like it woke you up quick and you had to realize like, all right, we're not fooling around here. <laughs> we had really good football teams back then and basketball teams, so we did a lot of travel for, the, for those games. Um, and just over the course of the four years, you know, building up some really good friendships that I still have. De La Salle Road was a nice place to go to school. We've got a lot of memories there, but the campus that we have in Colony is state of the art, and it's a wonderful place for, for our kids to be educated. It's a uh, more modern school. I'm impressed by the physical layout of the school and the fabulous facilities that they have. It's top notch. The STEM program, the music program, everything that's expanded so much. There's so much more going on. You're really coming out more prepared for what's going on today. The, the leadership that's at the school now is just tremendous. I mean, you could really sense the, the pride and, and the, the brotherhood, really. The CBA education and CBA experience is not only about what's in the classroom, it's about what's on that athletic field that's out there, what those coaches give to the kids. It's about military leadership and what that, what that teaches our young boys today. And it's about the faith-based education that these kids get day in and day out. That's what separates CBA from every other school. The, the same basic virtues are being taught there as were 100 years ago. Giving back to others, uh, finding a way to count your blessings but pay it forward, that type of thing. The, the community service part is something that just, I think, sets the school apart. That brotherhood is special. You don't get that anywhere else. You, you just don't. You're taught that service, that, that giving back at CBA, it lives with you, it never goes away. And when you become successful, you have a sense of responsibility to give back. One of the missions of CBA is to take young men and prepare them to be leaders in society in the future. And in turn, when we give back to the school, we help create that next generation of future leaders. And it's a relationship that works both ways. We inspire them, but in turn, they inspire us, that there's people coming behind us who can do those great things.